Between 2020 and 2025, the sun entered a particularly active phase, the rise and peak of solar cycle 25. During this time, Earth experienced a surge in solar flares, with dozens of high-energy X-class events, including record-breaking eruptions in 2024. These flares are intense bursts of radiation, often accompanied by coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, which, when directed at Earth, can disrupt satellites, communication systems, and even power grids. The most significant period occurred in early May 2024, when Sunspot AR3664 unleashed a series of powerful flares, including an X5.7 and an enormous X8.7 class flare. These triggered a G5-level geomagnetic storm, the strongest Earth had seen in over 20 years. Auroras, usually confined to polar regions, were visible as far south as the Caribbean, southern Europe, and even parts of Africa. While some satellites went into safe mode and power companies took protective measures, widespread disruptions were largely avoided, thanks to improved forecasting. This solar fury brought back memories of the Carrington event of 1859, the most powerful geomagnetic storm ever recorded. Back then, telegraph systems sparked and caught fire, and auroras were visible in tropical skies. Had a storm of that intensity struck today, the results could be catastrophic, knocking out GPS, disabling satellites, and causing continent-wide blackouts. Although the 2024 storm didn't quite reach Carrington levels, it was a stark reminder of our growing dependence on vulnerable technologies. Events in 2023 and 2025 also demonstrated how flares can disrupt aircraft navigation, emergency radio during natural disasters, and internet connectivity, often without warning. As the sun gradually moves past solar maximum, the threat isn't over large sunspots and volatile magnetic regions still pose a risk. Scientists continue to monitor solar activity using satellites like NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, offering early warnings to protect critical infrastructure. In short, the sun's recent outbursts have been both beautiful and dangerous, painting the sky with auroras while challenging our defenses. These years will be remembered as a defining period for space weather in the 21st century.